Welcome back everyone to episode 18 of Rios del Cielo. Today, I want to do the uh, ore industry area after doing the uh, forestry last time. The ore area is here. See the, uh, the color of the land. There's a nice uh, cliff face there to bunch away on the miners. Um, I used to cutting it up to the forestry area here on this one here. Uh, there's a little ridge there between this road and the uh, area I want to use. I thought maybe I'd use a tunnel to go through that little ridge um, just to drive home the mining theme. Since we're going to use tunnels and everything, so I think it will flatten out this area just at the base of the uh, rock face here. Leaving enough of the ridge there to uh, put a tunnel through. As I said, don't need to use a tunnel. We can just do a cut cutting like on the other side, but I think a tunnel says mine. It's a good size area. I think that'll work. little smoothing. Still want to keep that rock face. Good for mining. Yeah. I like that. We still have our ridge there. Great. Now I can uh, put in our six lane. Industrial type road. Where I'm looking for industrial. Yeah, let's aim it to where we want to go through here. Now use, yeah, using the actual rendered tunnel roads so that there will actually be a tunnel under there. Not the black void. Put both ends in first and just hook them up. If the altitude is going to be. Alt I always say alt height is going to be wrong the roof of the uh, actual tunnel there. All I have to do really is uh, adjust the uh, slope there and it should bring it back down underground. There we go. That's what I meant to do. See, see right through the tunnel. That'll look good, especially with that uh, ridge line there. Put a bunch of trees on it. Give more the impression of uh, distance and a locality. Okay, I'm gonna grab that road and bring this one out. So maybe our main entrance, and I. Th I don't think it'll be in the middle like uh, the other industry areas. It'll actually be on the bottom edge. Then we can use our four lane one way road, make a kind of a loop. I gotta leave room up there for those really big excavators. Those will be the ones munching away at that big cliff there. And I see how I'm going to bring this back around here. I think I'm going to come down to the corner there. Yep. Yeah, let's reverse it. Uh, got rid of 
that road there, so I want to make that a two-way. This is a dead end. Gotta be two-way, really. And let's put down our or industry office. Select all of our land. And our various or industry items. Just whack them in there where I want them. Okay. Uh, I want to try something different here. Do or do not. There is no try. Uh, that cliff face. The idea with the uh, real tunnels there. Tunnel roads. I thought I'd put a uh, just a loop underground. Sort of like a uh, um underground mine entrance or like in the salt mines where you can drive into them won't be anything in there um, although I may have to put, try to put something in there to attract traffic so I just want to see traffic going in and going out mainly uh, trucks This is the one time I would like them to use it as a turnaround. I think it uh, says mine. And basically just a loop inside here. roads there set up the, the lanes so they just go in and come back out you know after going around the loop and the wrong kind of road there Yeah, it's just straight in there, underground. I don't know if we'll get any traffic or not. I have it set up to uh, disallow everything but trucks. See the uh, wall at the end. We'll see if we get any traffic. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But it looks like a mine. That's all that matters. Here's some of the smaller underground type mines. This area over here will be the underground mine section. I don't know what I'm doing with that little key intersection there. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of it. put down another one of these little underground mines. Let's move it closer. Another one on the other side here. Just for the sake of symmetry. I think I need to scoosh this whole road up closer to the cliff base. That uh, 
center tunnel entryway is kind of elongated. Oops. Got to select the uh, mines as well. And that node. Now do it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do there. Get it right up there closer. Yep, that'll do. Everything looks okay there. Yep. Hey. we got here. We got some more processing factories. Got to put them in. We have all the miners in. Now we have to process it. Metal and glass. it. Processing facility. I don't know if I, where to put it. Yeah, that just fits in there. We need storage for the raw materials. Where can I put this nifty looking storage facility? In between those miners there, we're going to have to move this guy over a bit. Got room. Wish he wouldn't rise up the hill like that. room. There is enough room, but it can't get it to align with the road there. There's no zoning. I think I move this guy over a little bit. smooth enough and you can throw some trees on there it's just a hill hey coming right along and now 
Metro. Can't forget the Metro. We gotta get our workers in here. I think that's probably the best spot for it, right there, next to the the main office, in the uh, barracks. And move the office over a little bit. That'll do fine. No, just less but at least get about the uh, freight train terminal. Gotta put one of those in. My safe spot for it down here at the bottom. Just off the main road. I think it'll function just right. All right, and we have a nice straight section here. With enough road, to, enough room, say, to put in our custom E junction. Right one there. Perfect. It's in there real nice. And just quick hook up. We should be Ready to let the train through there. Little jog in the line. It's no, no problem. Hmm. Yeah, those curves always molding themselves to the land level underneath them. So I need to clean those up a bit. Just use the sloping tool here. to even them out. Make them smooth. And do the same thing for the pass-through. Hey. Uh, we need some more land here. Get our turn, turn around. Loop back, I should say. That's enough. We'll slope that all out and fill it up with trees. When the time comes, it'll look just like a gently sloping hill running up to the rail station. been using six as a measurement for these uh, loop backs. Seems like a good size. Doesn't take up too much room. Okay, It'll come straight out. Uh, come on straight. Go straight. Straight out to there. There and down. Make sure the angle is okay. We got our tracks, we do. Now we get to connect this whole mess up. So 
going to use the raise section and the hookup tool. Yeah, it wants to set everything down to surface level. It's Bit of a pain. It's all right. Just raise it up. I could have used a sloping tool, but start with that anyway. Yeah, it looks like we got nodes that are too close to each other down here. Find them, we can get rid of them. Yeah, one more we can get rid of. It's got itself twisted. Get rid of it. Just get rid of it. So hard to pick that one. It's just right there on the end. There you go. That's untwisted. Now we can make the uh, put a node in and make a bridge over the highway. I think those usually look better if they're level, level-ish. Straight and level. Oh, pick the wrong thing to set your level to there. It's a little slopey on going downhill there. Bring it back up. There you go. You want the uh, node there. That's a nice straight little bridge. Uh, I think this one could be sloped. Yeah. That smooths out that whole thing. Okay, now do the sloping tool again and I think we'll just be about set up there. We have to change some nodes to slope here. This one here. Nice. And probably this one here on the end. Yeah. Keeps the bridge flat, gives us a nice little slope going up there. Yeah, that's a nice connection. That'll work. work fine. Uh, we gotta hook up our metro. I just put the station down. I'm gonna extend our big industry line out this way. Getting really good at this. I can tell it's probably going to be breaking through the land there near the traffic circle, so we'll have to go through and fix that. That'll be fine. Did it last time, no problem. We can do it this time, no problem. Yep. See right there, it's trying real hard not to stay underground. That's the only problem with the uh, that hookup tool. It ignores height. It just makes a straight line. But we'll just select that. Select those nodes. 
page down until we're clear and go back and adjust the slopes so they're gentle. Yeah, just like that. Yep, looks great. Same thing on this side. So go from there to come on. There you go. Sweet. Now we can hook up the line. We'll just grab this, bring it out here. Grab this, bring it out here. Do it until it gets it right. Then add another stop. Return trip stop there. Excellent. And I think we'll have to add some vehicles here. Our line's getting longer, more stops. We only have two vehicles, let's add, add a couple more. Whoa, noisy factories. Yep, or we'll to do it. I don't know why I jumped to that station there, but I guess that's where they're spawning from. Okay, and we're gonna go out to that area over there for our next industries. There's a farmland and oil out there. Now yeah, we gotta put down all those services. All the usual suspects. Garbage, health, room to just that in there. Uh, fire and police. A post office. Actually, we got a lot of space in the center there we can make use of. I'll throw another set of roads in here. Otherwise that area is just going to go to waste. And in there we stick a bank and a post office. And a crematorium. For all the victims, victims of cave-ins. Small bank and post offices, industries. There you go. Knew you could do it. And let's see, some place to put a park in here. Not, not up, up there. It's not going to work. But I do have space by the railroad, I think. Will anybody use the park? Who knows? Go down there to eat their lunch or something. I don't even know if a park improves uh, property values in a place with no living space. Even though we do have barracks, which are living spaces. Let's put down some parking. Which is probably asking for trouble. The way the game works. Parking lots <laughs> are parks. They attract tourists for some reason. Who knows why tourists come to see you a parking lot, but it's the way the game works. It's not my fault, I didn't write it. Everyone is stupid except me. 
All the parking spaces down there. And of course, warehouses for our produced items, which are glass and metal. Move these over. I think we can give uh, the park a little room. Away from the railroad as well. Gotta have space for it though. Glass. And metal. And I want to set them both to within district only or incoming. That way they'll only store stuff that's produced right here. Leave the outgoing for everybody. They can export it and eventually they'll send it to our main manufacturing center when I get that built. But yeah, it let, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice layout. I like it. Let's get this smoothed out. We got everything in there we need. that a little further back we we can get a better slope in there when we smooth it out there you go a shallower slope which would look just fine with trees on it okay I uh, gotta get that area smoothed up That'll do. Yeah, look at that. Sort of hidden in a little crater almost. Good spot for a ore mining. And now we can go tree crazy in here. Let's get our anarchy set up correctly. Got a different mod handling that now. Going for more deciduous, deciduous forest here rather than pines near the forestry area. Look at that. It looks neat. Quite happy with that. But I think I'll do all the uh, front work of doing the intersections and uh, curb breakers off camera. No use watching that. It's all the same over and over again. Um, next episode we'll head on out and do farming and or oil but for now as always thanks for joining me and i hope to see you again tomorrow <laughs>